Hi, my name is Dr. Ann Haik. I'm a medical doctor and I also practice naturopathy. That makes me a complementary medical doctor. I'd like to talk to you today about the most accurate screening for early breast cancer detection. Hint, it's not mammograms, it's not 3D mammograms or digital mammograms, it's not MRI or PET scan, and it's not ultrasound. The earliest, safest, most accurate early breast cancer screening is thermography. It uses patterns of heat in the breast to diagnose early breast cancer. Over 300,000 women have been studied. It is the most accurate form of breast cancer screening. It is up to 90% accurate. Compare that with mammography, which has a 20% false negative rate. That means a woman has breast cancer, but it's not showing up on mammograms. And there's up to an 80% false positive rate, which means that a woman has an abnormal mammogram, and yet when they do a biopsy, it shows that it's normal. Thermography has no radiation or compression. The radiation can be a significant burden for ladies. It can be up to one rad per exam. Let's compare that with Denver, which has a one one thousandth of a rad for a person who lives a week at that altitude. This radiation can be cumulative over time. This can be a significant burden if you have to have multiple mammograms. Ladies who need to have multiple mammograms could be ladies with dense breasts or women who are BRCA positive, which means they have the gene for breast cancer. Breast thermography is safe for pregnant women and nursing moms. It's not fooled by dense breasts or breast implants. In 2009, the U.S. Preventative Task Force recommended women under 50 years old not get mammograms and over 50 only get them every two years yet practitioners ignore this research. With thermography, cancer can be picked up five to eight years earlier. For naturopaths and integrative doctors, this can give us time to alter lifestyle and potentially reverse these early cancer trends. I must admit, I still use mammograms, but mainly in ladies who have breast lumps or when I see a worrisome thermography. In my practice, this spares over 90% of women from having to get mammograms.